We are still watching the wind chills and the threat for frostbite. If you are unprotected outside, we're breaking down these temperatures in the first one forecast. Plus, the names of the six found dead in Milwaukee Sunday. An update on the investigation into who killed them. Also, the battle over ballot drop boxes. The court decision that will impact how you can vote. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to News 3 Now This Morning. On your Tuesday, I'm Leah Lynchide. And I'm Chris Stanford. Thanks for joining us. Man, it's cold out there this morning. Uh, so many ways to say it. We're below zero. It's going to get even colder tomorrow, if you can believe it. Chris Reese here now with your certified most accurate forecast. Hey, Chris. Yeah, we're going into some of the coldest days we have seen so far this winter. We'll see if we get any colder than this. But really, this is probably the coldest we've been since uh, January 2019, when the polar vortex made itself known. That being said, alert days today and tomorrow. Lows this morning have been quite chilly. In fact, we're hanging out at negative 8 right now. Wind chills are going to range from negative 10 to negative 20. Some spots the wind chills are even lower than that but tomorrow actual air temperatures will hang out from about negative 15 to negative 20 degrees and wind chills do have that potential to be even colder. That being said, we have wind chill advisories today until noon. I expect more wind chill advisories, if not a couple of wind chill warnings by the time we go towards tomorrow. These are some of the wind chills that you're experiencing as you step out the door right now. Negative 10, that's what it feels like in Janesville. Negative 7 here in Madison, negative 11 in the Dells. Odds are this little stretch here are actual air temperatures. There's not much wind in these communities. But where there is wind, those wind chills are a lot cooler. 20 below in Watoma, 26 below in the Dells, 26 below for Lone Rock and Viroqua as well. Platteville coming in at 21 below zero for the wind chill. Here's Madison right now. You see our air is calm. The wind not really blowing all that much. So the air temperature and the wind chill both line up at about seven degrees below zero. It's zero in Janesville right now. It is 11 below zero in the Dells, nine below in Lone Rock. Boscobel, your air temperature, negative 17 right now. You're the second coldest spot. Black River Falls, our common cold winter at 24 below zero as we speak. So let's push things forward. We're going to go through the rest of today. This morning, a lot of those temperatures hovering in the single digits to teens below zero. By lunchtime, a lot of us are right around two, three, four degrees or so. Some of us still around one or zero. Then we get towards the evening and our temperatures start to fall again. In fact, we fall in a big way tonight. A lot of those overnight low temperatures will be into the mid to upper teens below zero. Some spots will flirt with 20 degrees below zero. And this is the air temperature. This air temperature alone can cause frostbite in about 10 to 15 minutes if you aren't careful when you're out and about. We'll warm up to the single digits tomorrow as well. We'll see some clouds and then a little chance for a band of some snow showers and flurries trying to work its way into the picture. That being said, here's future track wind chill. All right, so we're pushing things forward. This is this afternoon. A lot of those wind chills hanging out in the teens below zero. One o'clock in the morning tomorrow. Wind chills already start to make it towards 20 to 30 degrees below zero. And by the time you are headed out to the bus stop, 730. We're talking wind chills that could be around 35 or colder below zero. This has been the trend in the models as we've gone throughout today. When the wind chills get that chilly, folks, your frostbite time really begins to speed up. Tomorrow morning around 730, frostbite time could be anywhere in that range of five to 10 minutes, especially if these types of wind chills actually do become a thing. So we're really paying attention to tomorrow morning's forecast. It's very possible that if that's the case, we're going to see several school closings tomorrow. So we'll take today to maybe at least have a plan for a possible school closing. I know sometimes I can throw off parents when it seems sudden. Uh, I'm telling you now, plan for possible school closings tomorrow. A little chance for some PM flurries on Thursday. The weekend into early next week looks quiet. Groundhog Day and into the start of February looks very interesting. I'll say that. So 18 below tomorrow morning, right? 18 below tomorrow morning. Yeah, and you mentioned the possibility that schools could be closed. Madison Metro Schools already warning parents that could happen tomorrow. Last night, the district did send out a letter to parents saying that the threshold to close school is 25 below. And again, the uh, forecast for tomorrow morning, the low is 18 below. We factor in the wind chills, though. We're down in the uh, negative 30s. So uh, be advised, school could be canceled tomorrow. 
Meantime, Milwaukee police are looking for suspects in the deaths of six people over the weekend. Overnight, the medical examiner identified the six victims. Milwaukee police say they were called to the home Sunday afternoon for a welfare check when officers made the discovery. Concerned neighbors made the call. I see them. They spoke. You know, they seem to be kind. I was so shocked to, to hear this happening right next door, you know, to me. Since the start of 2022, in just the past three weeks, the county sheriff says Milwaukee has seen 14 homicides. 604 now. Wisconsin voters will be allowed to use ballot drop boxes in a few weeks for the spring primary. The move comes after weeks of back and forth in court. McKenna Alexander is breaking it all down for us this morning. Good morning, McKenna. Yeah, good morning, you too. Well, the upcoming spring primary just weeks away now, and that is part of the reason the appeals court says the drop boxes should stay for now. Because the election is almost here, the court unanimously decided yesterday afternoon that changing ballot box locations would confuse and disenfranchise voters. Now, this all started with a lawsuit from two voters challenging all these ballot box locations. And a previous court decision had recently sided with that argument, meaning ballot boxes could only be in clerk's offices and nowhere else. This decision stays that ruling, which essentially just puts it on hold. Now, we did speak with the Dane County clerk about his support of ballot boxes. Most of these towns and villages have for for a long time had a general drop box that they'll take payments, you know, other documents and ballots in it. And that's been how they've used it for a long time. And under this judge's ruling, they really can't do that. Conservatives, meanwhile, claim the ballot boxes open the door to fraud, though there has been no widespread evidence of that. In its decision this week, the court noted nearly 8,400 absentee ballots have already been sent to voters, and many of those voters could have already dropped them in ballot boxes. Now we're going to continue breaking down this court decision coming up in our next half hour. McKenna, McKenna Alexander, thank you very much. Uh, shake up in the race for governor this morning. Wisconsin's biggest political donor is asking Kevin Nicholson to get into the governor's race. The donor is Dick Uline, who lives in a Chicago suburb but owns Uline Supplies in Pleasant Prairie. His involvement piles on to an emerging storyline from last week when Assembly Speaker Robin Voss told Nicholson not to run. Nicholson is a former Marine who lost to the Republican, uh, who lost the Republican primary for U.S. Senate in 2018. In that election, Uline donated nearly $11 million to Nicholson's campaign. We asked UW political professor Barry Burden to explain what it all means for the bigger picture. Democrats will have to have everything go right for them to hold on to what they've got, to keep the governor's mansion and not lose more seats in the state legislature. The primary is August 9th. According to Ballotpedia, four Republican candidates have already filed paperwork. New testimony from Robin Voss's attorney this morning in a lawsuit against the investigation into Wisconsin's 2020 election. The speaker's attorney says he didn't review his client's records to see if they complied with an open records request when he turned them over. Groups in this lawsuit want records related to the ongoing investigation by Michael Gableman. The group argues Voss should be found in contempt of court for not turning over all of the records related to the investigation. Meanwhile, Voss says he did turn them all over. A ruling on the matter should come in about a month and a half. Today, Assembly Republicans will unveil their plans to fight crime and boost public safety. Wisconsin Democrats do have a package of bills to fight crime as well. They say Republicans have reduced shared revenue payments to local governments, and that has affected police and fire departments, as well as libraries, parks, and health departments. The Democrats said over the last decade, shared revenue payments have decreased 9%, while spending on public safety has increased by almost 17%. This gap is growing, and it's growing faster in recent years. So if my Republican legislative colleagues were serious about funding uh, law enforcement and local units of government, they wouldn't be directing the governor to spend COVID relief aid. They would be solving the problem. Representative Goyke adds that their proposal would cost about $100 million. There is also a $2.5 billion in surplus funds that he also noted. Another shipment from the U.S. military is expected today in Ukraine. President Biden meeting virtually with European allies this week amid rising tensions in Ukraine as Russia troops remain poised to potentially invade. The Biden administration is considering sending several thousand U.S. troops to reinforce the border. The number of forces that the secretary has placed on heightened alert uh, comes up to about 8,500 personnel. 
In Kiev, the State Department has ordered the families of American diplomats to leave the country. They're advising private U.S. citizens to do the same, along with non-essential American embassy personnel. $200 million of emergency military assistance from the United States has already arrived in Ukraine. In Georgia this morning, judges have approved a request for a special grand jury, a district attorney investigating whether former President Donald Trump broke the law by trying to pressure Georgia officials to throw out President Biden's victory. The special grand jury is set to be seated on May 2nd for up to a year. Special grand juries can help in the investigation of complex matters. They do not have the power to return an indictment, but can make recommendations to prosecutors on criminal prosecutions. 610 now coming up. A tough loss on Friday, costing the Badgers a spot in the top 10. Where they're at now and when they play next after the break. Plus, we're in the 608 for Winter Restaurant Week with our first spotlight when we come back. At Papa Murphy's, we need seriously, chop seriously, and shred seriously. Because we're serious about Tuesdays, even if you're not. Every Tuesday, get a large pizza for just $10. Papa Murphy's, change the way you pizza. Those brave men and women of our armed forces, generations of them. Why should today's burdens fall back onto them? They were there for us. Now let's be there for them. Your local Wisconsin energy providers and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund are working together to deliver Wisconsin veterans in crisis heat, power, and help staying in their home. But they can't do it alone. Call to donate today. Dirt's gonna fly if you lie at Energy Center. The Monsters of Destruction, February 4th and 5th at 7.30 and the 6th at 2 p.m. Top monster trucks including Train, along with the insane action of freestyle motocross. Every ticket includes a pit pass for the pit party with drivers and riders, plus go for a ride in a monster truck. Get tickets and details at monstersofdestruction.com. Get ripped up. The Monsters of Destruction, February 4th, 5th, Come join the amazing team of compassionate caregivers at the one and only Attic Angel Community. Attic Angel Community of Madison is looking for skilled RNs and CNAs and offers shift differentials and on-demand pay, tuition reimbursement, wellness center, and much more. CNAs starting at $18 an hour. We also offer rewarding careers in housekeeping and food service. Apply online today at atticangel.org. Come join the one and only Attic Angel Community. At iMart Express, it's just the right price. Two pairs of glasses start under 40 bucks. Using insurance? We accept over a thousand plans, and using your benefits is as easy as one, two, three. No insurance? No problem. Glasses to fit your budget. It's just the right price. Only at iMart Express. Over these past months, we've all experienced changes and a great deal of reflection. But here's a change you can truly be excited about. Sonobello, America's number one cosmetic surgery specialist, permanently removes the fat from your stomach, hips and thighs, and back. I walked past mirrors. I didn't want to see any of that. I can't even tell you how excited I am about Sonobello and what they've done for me. I'm just living my best life now because I'm being the best that I can be. Sonobello's board-certified surgeons use micro-laser technology to safely target and remove your diet-resistant fat cells permanently. Schedule your free, no-obligation consultation. Plus, get $250 off instantly. You deserve to do something for you. Call 1-888-512-1753 or go to sonobello.com now. You're watching Madison's fastest-growing newscast, News 3 Now This Morning. Welcome back. We are in the 608 all week long, featuring some local spots participating in Winter Restaurant Week. Josh Breider is here to showcase a new one that's participating this time around. It's a Tex-Mex option. Hey, Josh. Hey guys, a tasty good option with that too. Good morning to you, good morning to everyone at home. A big week here, of course, we're talking about Winter Restaurant Week and there are 20 area restaurants taking part, which is an increase this year. And this morning, we're talking about a new one over on the east side, A-Rod's Tex-Mex and American Grill. 
Winter Restaurant Week is here, and we're trying out all of the options you've got available right at your fingertips this week. Right now, we are at A-Rod's Tex-Mex and American Grill, and we've got Amado Rodriguez III with us. You started this, and really, I mean, just a beautiful space that you've got here. Talk a little bit about what got you here today. Well, I started off with, uh, you know, the pandemic, you know, and, and it got really hard to, to make ends meet. Uh, my unemployment got taken away, and one thing led to another. I started selling tamales, and one from tamales, it went from chicken, chicken and rice, pepper, steak, spaghetti bolognese, and then I brought Tex-Mex to the table, and that's how it started booming. You know, talk about the food options you've got, because you've really got something for everyone to enjoy here. Well, we, we have a variety of meats. We have like seven to eight meats, depending on, on the day. Sometimes we have different specials and stuff like that, but with those variety of meats, we do of uh, enchiladas. We do different combinations like we have enchiladas, quesadillas, chimichangas, burritos, uh, tacos, and then we have plates. Uh, and then you can do, you know, trays of, of food. Like you got you can do a four uh, tacos and four quesadillas, or you can do a four tacos and four enchiladas, and you can mix match your meats. Uh, or you can do quesadillas and, and enchiladas. You can do smaller portions, like uh, single portions for people on the run on, for lunches and stuff like that. You know, we have different combinations like that, so. So you've been very, very grateful for all of the community support. You know, how much has that been able to help you through all of this and starting really your dream right here? I overwhelmed with the response and, and how everybody has just come together as a community to, you know, to support me. Uh, they, they've been they've been wonderful. I couldn't have done it without any of them. I mean, I, I'm always thanking each one of them and, and loving them for, for all the support. And they're they're so 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 beautiful. I mean, every every culture has come together in this community to help me out. And and I mean, I've even gotten hired to do little little parties and and cater to them and stuff that just to help me get through the pandemic. And I I mean, I went from like 200 and some plus friends in Facebook to over 4,000 friends now so it's just been it's been it's, it's been exciting well it's exciting we're excited for you and thankful for you that you are here this week and we're going to talk a little bit more about what you've got on the ruin to restaurant week coming up that i'm really excited for my mom used to cook this for us and we loved it Incredible food there. Such a nice guy to Amato doing some really good things over there. If you'd like to learn more about A-Rod's Tex-Mex and American Grill, you can go to the story on channel3000.com. Guys, you heard a little bit about his story there. He's worked at many Madison area restaurants before. This has been his dream. And when he lost his job due to the pandemic, it really kind of pushed him into where he's at now. And you huh. saw he's very, very grateful for the community. So I think that's how we need to remember this week is these folks that are around town, these people are our neighbors, they're our family, they're our friends, and that's why it, Restaurant Week is so, so important, guys. Yeah, great point, Josh. You know, he, what, lost his job, started selling tamales, turned it into his own business. Wow. What a dream. Incredible, yeah, and literally all he would do is he'd deliver those tamales around town. He'd meet them in parking lots just to be able to deliver his food. So, cool. so it started just like that, and now he's got a beautiful space there over at the Global Food Market. And, uh, you know, we know that he's going to be up to some really, really good things coming up. Yeah. What a story. What a reason to go visit. Josh Breider, thank you very much. Remember to let Josh know what inspires you in the 608. Reach out to him on social media, on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or shoot him an email for a chance to be featured. Now, to continue celebrating Restaurant Week, we're handing out a pair of vouchers. You can get a free meal. $25 worth, and we've got a lot of them to give away this week. All you got to do is go to our website, channel3000.com slash contests, and answer today's question of the day. We're asking you, what's your favorite style of potato? So we've heard mine is baked. Chris's is tater tots. Tater tots. No judge. <laughs> Chris Reese, what's yours? You know, when you said tater tot, that actually made things pretty interesting for me. Because I was like, oh, that is a good one. But I've always liked steak fries. Ooh. That's always been my individual. You know, like fries are one thing. But then there's steak fries, and they're really special. Uh, but my Seasoning true favorite fries. that I've been building up to this whole time, it's in Texas. But it's barbecue brisket baked potato. What? All right. Does that count? I can no. go. There's a lot. No, that does not count. That's not Wisconsin. No. <laughs> it's not Wisconsin. It's just, you know, Chris's home roots. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna overlook it and introduce you to a nice cheesy hash brown. We'll talk. Otherwise, the break. it is it's steak fries. 
Okay. You know, when it comes down to it, is there a bad potato? No, there There's isn't. No That's a good answer. point. We love the carbs here. All right, 619 now. Following a big loss to Michigan State, Wisconsin men's basketball team falling to 11th in the AP Top 25 this week. The Badgers now sit at second in the Big Ten. They would have played today against Nebraska, but the Cornhuskers don't have enough players to hit the court because of COVID. The game is now set for Thursday. That's in Nebraska at 4 o'clock on the Big Ten Network. All right, Chris, we're going to need some uh, nice, warm, any kind of potato today. <laughs> <laughs> this is just chill. Anything you got. Yeah, take things it. are certainly cold out there this morning. These are wind chills right now, and a lot of spots they are pretty dang cold. 20 below zero in Watoma, 28 below zero in Camp Douglas, and that wind chills 26 below zero in Lone Rock. Seven below for us in Madison, but that actually lines up with what our air temperature is right now. The winds are calm at the airport. Now, as we go through the next 12 hours, we'll see our temperatures gradually warm up. We'll top out right around five degrees into the afternoon, which is not all that warm, but it's going to be a colder day. We are quiet out there across the state. That means road conditions have begun to improve after yesterday's snow event that we had as well. Anything in the green means those roadways are clear for us. And in fact, this is what we're seeing right now on our DLT camera. This is US 151 at Main Street right in Sun Prairie. In fact, your commute forecast all clear today. Some of those side roads might have a little bit of snow on them still, but most of your main roads and your highways are going to be all clear. In fact, that's what we see when we look at our traffic maps this morning. Yesterday, it was certainly a different story around there, but we want to keep this story. And one accident has now been reported on Highway 14 coming up from Oregon right now. It's not causing any delays. Let's try to keep it to just that one accident today. All right, Chris Reese, thank you very much. 620 now coming up in our next half hour. Kids at Middleton High School head back to school this morning after a lockdown. What the district is doing moving forward. We'll be right back. Channel 3000 Plus. Watch from your streaming media player or mobile device. Cobison Buses, now hiring. Working with Cobison, it's definitely been great because of the flexibility. If you do need time off, they work around you. They, they definitely try to make it a company that's based for you. Visit cobison.com to apply. Stop whitening your smile the old-fashioned way with strips and trays that could take 30 minutes to an hour. I'm David Cohen, the COO of Love Your Teeth. When we did the clinical study and saw that it whitened people's smile seven shades in seven days with only 10-minute applications, we knew we had to share it with the world. Love Your Teeth whitens natural teeth as well as stains on caps and veneers. It's so effective, it works on stains caused by coffee, tea, red wine, and even smoking. And for those of you who have that one stained tooth that's darker than the rest? With Love Your Teeth, you can target that area using swab precision. I love red wine, tea, coffee, and I typically get stains at like the bottom part of my teeth. That's very obvious. This was my smile before I started using Love Your Teeth. And then here's my smile now. <laughs> I would describe Love Your Teeth as easy to use. I'm so happy with the results. Before I started Love Your Teeth, I took a selfie. So white. So different. If you have yellowing between your teeth or coffee stains near your gum line, just snap, swab, and smile. And with each 10-minute application, you'll see whiter teeth. I'm Dr. Gold. I've been a dentist for 25 years. When I looked at the clinical study for Love Your Teeth, I was blown away by the results. Love Your Teeth really works. Finally, an at-home teeth whitening product that I can recommend with confidence. With Love Your Teeth, my teeth were looking great. Like, I would just wake up every day like, oh my god, my teeth are getting whiter. It was just amazing for me. I saw a difference every single day. I'm just so confident in the way that my smile looks. In the past, while I was using other teeth whitening products, my teeth became sensitive, and that's just uncomfortable. With Love Your Teeth, something that I really loved about it is there was zero sensitivity the entire process. Order Love Your Teeth this new year and get 50% off plus get free shipping and as an added bonus get a free love your teeth go pen with your order visit loveyourteeth.com or call the number on your screen Dinosaur Adventure roars into Madison. One weekend only. Alliant Energy Center. With life-size dinosaurs and massive family fun. Experience the thrill of the prehistoric age. Featuring the ferocious T-Rex, Triceratops, Velociraptor, and more. Go on a realistic fossil dig. Take a ride on your favorite dinosaur. Bounce around in the prehistoric playground. And a baby dinosaur meet and greet. Take an amazing dinosaur adventure. February 5th and 6th. Alliant Energy Center. Tickets at dinosauradventure.com. Cobus and Buses, now hiring. My name's Mike Williams. 
I've been driving school bus off and on for 21 years. Here at our terminal, we're kind of like a family too. Somebody has an issue with a bus, other people kick in and help and get the job done. Back here at 624, we got some clarification from a viewer on <laughs> what did. exactly this is. <laughs> Since uh, we were struggling to uh, name it, it's called ice boating. Could you imagine ice boating in this weather? No with way. With that wind chill, that's be crazy. crazy. We should keep an eye out though and see if there are any nuts out there doing this. <sighs> Wouldn't surprise me if there were a couple of them, but uh, man. Uh, I, I've seen them out there, you know, whipping across the lake. It looks so cool. It does look really uh, neat. I think it's rather on social media. I think it's rather dangerous because the wind can get you whipping around pretty sure. fast. Especially. Zach has done wind surfing, I think it's called, on the snow, and he just about broke his back. You know, those winds get up to 60 miles an hour on these lakes. Man, yeah, that takes uh, some guts yeah. to say the least. Hey, we want to thank Wendy for sharing her morning with us. It was a great picture. And I love the skyline back there. Gosh, Madison looks so beautiful. Uh, if you want to share your morning with us, use the hashtag MyNews3Morning when you post on social media so we can find it. All right, 625 now. Let's talk about those wind chills, Chris Reese, because they are down there. <laughs> yeah, things are going to be pretty cold. Even actual air temperatures are going to be chilly. So as the kids head to the bus stop today, things are cold. Below zero this morning at bus pickup time, drop off. We're still going to be hanging out into the single digits. Five is about as warm as we get. By dinner time, we are back below zero and wind chills will get even colder. In fact, by the time we are waking up tomorrow morning, some of those wind chills could be colder than 30 degrees below zero. This is that point that frostbite really happens at about five to 10 minutes. So be weather ready and weather aware of those wind chills as you are headed out tomorrow morning. Yeah, it could be cold enough to cancel school tomorrow too. It's a possibility. Madison Metro School is already warning parents about that as a possibility. Keep it here, folks. More news three now this morning coming at you right after this. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Three days only. Day Furs acquired over 500 new garments and cool weather accessories and everything must go. Save 40 to 80%. Pre-owned Furs starting at $49. All accessories 60% off at Day Furs this Thursday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. We're here at Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison, where we're highlighting some unique playing styles. Yeah, Jerry, take Marge and Carol here. They're sure having fun. And notice what appears to be a lucky troll dial on this machine. Oh, and look, that's the famous bingo card tap. That one always brings good luck. And check out the form on this pool. That's gotta be a lucky bracelet. Looks like you got your own lucky bracelet. <laughs> uh, what bracelet? <laughs> Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison. Summer's coming, and so are those warm, relaxing weekends. No matter where your adventures take you, we've got you covered at the new Lake Home and Cabin Show, January 28th through the 30th at the Alliant Energy Center in Madison. Whether you're staying at a vacation rental, towing a teardrop trailer to sleep under the stars, or heading to a beloved family cabin, you'll find everything for your getaway lifestyle at the Lake Home and Cabin Show, January 28th through the 30th, Alliant Energy Center. Every weekend should be this fun. Are you overloaded with debt? 13 may be your lucky number. No interest Chapter 13 debt repayment. Protect your assets, pay your debts, get a lower payment that you can afford. I'm attorney Peter Francis Geraci. Chapter 13 repayment plans start at only $275 a month. To see if you qualify on your phone, from your home, statewide, call now or visit us online. Hit the debt free button. Click or call now. Your senator is working with Donald Trump to take away your right to vote. That's exactly what Ron Johnson is doing. It's why we must pass the Freedom to Vote Act. With the Bucks, Alex Lazary took a stand. Alex Lazary has used his power to expand voting rights. I'll be a senator about action, not talk. We need to protect voting rights. What makes him tick is his love and respect for people. Equity and justice make us stronger. Alex gets it done. I'm Alex Lazary, and I approve this message. Don't miss out on Floor & Decor's grand opening in Monona on February 7th. With our unmatched selection of tile, wood, stone, laminate, vinyl, and more, all at everyday low prices, at Floor & Decor, you'll discover the perfect products for shopping on-trend and on-budget all in one stop. 
Plus, our helpful associates make realizing your vision easy from start to finish, so your upgrade has never been more you. Explore Floor & Decor's newest location in Monona on February 7th, or visit us online at flooranddecor.com. Three days only. Day Furs acquired over 500 new garments and cool weather accessories, and everything must go. Save 40 to 80%. Pre-owned furs starting at $49. All accessories 60% off at Day Furs this Thursday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Alert days in the forecast. We're talking about cold that could be dangerous if you're outside for too long. We're breaking this down in the first one forecast. Kids itching to play in the snow, and when it's not too chilly to do so, we have the safety advice to have the most fun possible. Also, kids in Middleton shaken up still from yesterday's lockdown. The comments from last night's school board meeting. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to News 3 Now this morning. I'm Chris Stanford. Thanks for joining us. I'm Leah Lynchide. We hope you are bundled up with a hot <laughs> cup of coffee at home because it is freezing outside. Two alert days in the forecast for some dangerous cold. Chris Reese is breaking it all down for us in your certified most accurate forecast. Chris. Yeah, alert days this morning, alert days tomorrow as well. It's cold no matter how you slice it for both of these days. But the reality is tomorrow is the colder day and tomorrow is going to be the day that poses more danger as you are out and about wind chills anywhere from negative 10 to negative 30 is what I've actually seen this morning, which is colder than the negative 20 forecast and the models are trending colder upwards to negative 40 with some of those wind chills for tomorrow. So it's certainly something to watch. We have wind chill advisories for all of southern Wisconsin until noon today. It is my expectation that we will see additional wind chill advisories issued uh, for tonight into tomorrow, and I would not be surprised if a couple of wind chill warnings even come out out of that. Here are wind chills right now. Some of these spots are lining up with your actual air temperature. There's been no wind reported at the airport in Madison all morning. Where we've seen the wind this morning, a lot of these wind chills have been a lot cooler. 26 below zero in Lone Rock, 27 below zero for Viroqua, 28 below zero in Camp Douglas is the wind chill this morning. Janesville, your wind chill coming in at 10 below zero. The sun, it's starting to come up. Clear skies, calm air out there. So seven below is the name for our air temperature and our wind chill in Madison this morning. It's 11 below in the Dells, three below for our friends in Monroe. Janesville, you have a goose egg. Zero is where your temperature stands. So let's take future track and push things forward throughout your day. We're going to see sunshine all day. There's no doubt there. Temperatures hanging out into the low single digits to mid single digits for your highs this afternoon. By 630, temperatures start to drop again and we go all the way down to about 15 to 20 below zero throughout southern Wisconsin this morning. This is the case where even the air temperature alone can cause frostbite in about 10 to 15 minutes tomorrow. Wind chills this afternoon still hanging out to the teens below zero. We're into the 30s and perhaps approaching 40 below zero for some of those wind chills tomorrow morning. Models tend to be a little bit overdone, but 30 below zero really starts to seem like a good bet for tomorrow morning. And when you're that cold, this is when frostbite can happen in about that five to 10 minute range. That being said, school systems are watching that very closely, and I'm not going to be surprised if we do have some school closings or delays tomorrow. And that's one of the things I want to stress. Just prepare today for the possibility of a school closing into tomorrow. We'll be a little bit warmer for the end of the week and the weekend, and then we'll watch the start of February closely. Okay, Chris Reese, thank you very much. 6.32 now to our other top headlines. This morning as kids head to school in Middleton, there are still some unanswered questions over yesterday's lockdown at the high school. School officials say the high school was locked down at 12.30 in the afternoon after a staff member reported to a resource officer they were concerned a student was carrying a gun in their backpack. Police found no gun. A person of interest, though, was taken into custody about 45 minutes later. The Middleton Cross Plains School District meeting, meanwhile, going ahead last night. Members say they're working with the district to determine the next steps for that student who was involved. The situation today was really difficult for many people. Whenever there is a threat, actual or alleged, we need to do our due diligence with the support of our law enforcement partners to keep everyone safe. In a prepared statement, the superintendent reiterated there was no weapon found on campus. Students at Middleton High School shared with us that during the lockdown, they took shelter under desks and listened to police scanners on their phones. I was pretty scared. I never in a million years thought this would yeah. be. A news conference with police officials and school personnel was planned for yesterday evening. That was canceled, though. 
In a video statement, the head of the school district explained why school officials locked down the schools, saying there was reasonable suspicion of a threat. We have been working to understand the situation and we'll continue to push out updates when we learn them through our mobile app. You can download it right now in your app store and see all of our top stories right as they happen. Ballot boxes placed around the state will be open and available for voters for the spring primary. McKenna Alexander is breaking down an appellate court's decision to stay. One judge is ruling. Good morning, McKenna. Yeah, good morning. Well, because of the upcoming spring primary, the 4th District Court of Appeals unanimously voted to stay or pause a Waukesha County judge's restrictions. With the election just weeks away, the court unanimously decided yesterday afternoon that changing ballot box locations would confuse and disenfranchise voters. That had been the argument of various groups opposing the change. Groups who want the ballot boxes removed say they're not secure. And though there's been no widespread evidence to back that up, a Waukesha County court decision sided with that argument, meaning ballot boxes could only be in clerk's offices, nowhere else. We did speak with the Dane County clerk about this case and the legal argument that ballot boxes aren't fraud proof. He disagrees. The drop boxes um, are far more secure than a, a basic you know, blue mailbox. So from a logistics point of view, clerks, you know, I know the clerks I talked to, uh, I mean, this just seems sort of unnecessarily partisan. Um, the drop boxes work well, they're extremely secure, more secure than the mail. In its decision, the court noted nearly 8,400 absentee ballots have already been sent to voters, and many of those voters could have already dropped them in ballot boxes. By allowing the use of additional ballot box locations, the court argues minimizes the chance of those absentee ballots being questioned. All right, McKenna Alexander reporting for us this morning. Thank you, McKenna. News 3 Now, your coronavirus headquarters. Here's the latest breakdown of COVID in Wisconsin this morning. All 72 counties are still in the critically high level of transmission. The DHS says Wisconsin is averaging more than 11,000 cases and 31 deaths every day. A quarter of all tests are coming back positive. And this week, the federal government is in the process of shipping out 400 million N95 masks from the national stockpile. The new federal plan is meant to distribute three masks to every American. We called a dozen Walgreens and CVS stores in and around Madison yesterday. None currently have N95s in stock, but the government says the free masks are set to start arriving by Friday. Throughout the pandemic, we've seen disparities in access to health care and access to different supplies. By having a program where these things are both easy to get uh, and low to no cost, uh, we start to address some of those disparities. Pharmacies in the area say they will have an update come Friday with when and how they'll begin distributing those free masks. 636 now. Over the last three days, Madison's picked up more than a half a foot of snow from a couple different snow events, which for many means getting out and enjoying some winter fun. But you'll want to do it safely. Our Time for Kids recipe for health team is sharing how you can be ready before your next winter adventure. Hey, Chris Reese. Yeah, good morning. We finally gotten some snow cover out there that's really beginning to build, and that means more families are going to be spending time on the local sledding hills or the ski slopes. It's important to double check your equipment to make sure it's ready for another season of use, but it's equal equally important to keep safety top of mind. Sledding or skiing, you know, make sure that the hill uh, is appropriate for the age and the skill set, make sure there's enough snow. Um, if there's any water around ponds, ice, make sure that the ice is thick um, and, and that you have good equipment. You know, make sure, check the equipment that you had from the previous year or if you bought new equipment, make sure that, that, that the sled is appropriate or if it's ski poles or, or skis, make sure that the bindings are set appropriately and all those things that you should do before a, a new winter season. That's Dr. Rottenbaker with SSM Health. Now, he also suggests that you take a stock of your sledding or skiing surroundings to make sure that the hills are free of trees, rocks, or other obstructions that could cause crashes. He also says to avoid sledding down hills that may lead towards ice or roadways. A sledding looking like a lot of fun there. Now, of course, our Time for Kids recipe for health team is always asking what you want to hear about. So let us know what health topics you're interested in or share your family's health story with us online at SSMHealth.com slash Time for Kids. Maybe a little too cold for sledding today and tomorrow, <laughs> Chris. That's Reese. the one problem. Yeah, we've probably got to wait till at least Thursday before we're warm enough for it. There you go. We'll get back to uh, more comfortable temps soon. Thanks, Chris. Yes. All right, it is 638, and it is certainly too cold to be sledding outside today. Let's take a live look outside. Temperatures reaching down into the single digits, negative double digits for your wind chills. It's going to get worse tomorrow, too. Chris Reese tracking those alert days coming up.
And we're in the 608 this morning. If you're looking for a way to warm up, of course, I've got the fireplace, but how about some comfort food? We're talking about winter restaurant week and our first spotlight when we come back. Save big money on new flooring from Menards. Marquee Industries Carpet has an ultra soft touch and feel. Their stylish and luxurious designs make it ideal for living rooms and bedrooms. IBC's sheet vinyl flooring is a great way to enhance the beauty of your home. It's durable, waterproof, and easy to install. Save big money on new carpet and sheet vinyl flooring. During Menards, more bang for your buck sale. Save big money at Menards. Deep in credit card debt? Did you know Credit Associates can help you reduce that debt? It's not nearly as complicated as you think. Let me show you what I mean. First, there's the total amount of credit card debt you owe. Whoa! We can reduce that by almost half. Second, how about those decades you'll be in debt? We reduce that down to as little as 24 to 36 months giving you up to 20 debt-free years back. Lastly, how about the endless hours of stress and anxiety from being in debt? We can help reduce that too. It's easy to get started. Call now to see how Credit Associates can reduce your debt and save you thousands. The information is free and there's no risk to call. 1-800-949-3849. Call Credit Associates now to start living better debt-free. 1-800-949-3849. You and me, partner, we meet center of town I noon. Hold on. Nope. Daisy's got last one lessons at noon. Okay. High two o'clock? I got a spur fitting at two o'clock. How's about three? Oh, I'm getting thrown through a saloon window at three. We don't need any more overscheduling, but we could all use more ways to save. I can squeeze you in between swim class and Kevin's harp recital at 3.30. I was eating beans at 3.30. Right. Switch to Geico for more ways to save. Tell you what, what about Tuesday? Dinosaur Adventure roars into Madison. One weekend only. Alliant Energy Center. With life-size dinosaurs and massive family fun. Experience the thrill of the prehistoric age. Featuring the ferocious T-Rex, Triceratops, Velociraptor, and more. Go on a realistic fossil dig. Take a ride on your favorite dinosaur. Bounce around in the prehistoric playground. And a baby dinosaur meet and greet. Take an amazing dinosaur adventure. February 5th and 6th. Alliant Energy Center. Tickets at DinosaurAdventure.com. U.S. ad spending is set to surpass $300 billion by 2022, and the greater Madison area is poised for major growth. So now would be a great time to consider a career in multimedia sales and to join our team selling our top-rated media and digital solutions. Work for a company that offers training, autonomy, flexibility, income growth, upward mobility, and work-life balance with a competitive wage. If you have a passion to drive results for local businesses, then visit morganmurphymedia.com right now to apply. You're watching Madison's fastest growing newscast. News 3 Now this morning. In the 608 this morning, we've got a week of featuring some local spots participating in Winter Restaurant Week. Are we all so jealous of Josh Ryder's assignments this week? My Very. goodness. What is he taking a look at this morning, Josh? Hey guys, good morning. We're talking about some Tex-Mex this morning. We talked a little bit about this and gave you a sneak peek earlier on in the newscast this morning about A-Rod's Tex-Mex and American Grill. And now it's the moment we've been waiting for. Here's a little taste. Well, it's the moment we've been waiting for here in the second segment today. We're checking out a little bit about what's on the Winter Restaurant Week here at A-Rod's Tex-Mex and American Grill. We have a special Madison Magazine star here, Andy Bailing, with us once again. Good to have you here. Thanks for having me for this awesome spread. You bet we could not not have you here. And, of course, we've got Amado Rodriguez III himself with A-Rod's. And, you know, you've got an incredible spread. You're super excited for Winter Restaurant Week. Talk a little bit about what we've got here. Right here, we have this pollo with calabaza. It's a chicken with uh, green zucchini, yellow squash, and some tomatoes and fresh onion and garlic and cumin and stuff like that. That's uh, one of our old-time favorites my mom used to make for us on, on a cold day. It's really good. It's, it's got a lot of flavor. We have some Mexican, te well, Tex-Mex rice, which is totally different. Tex-Mex rice is totally different than other rices, and, and some uh, refried beans. And then you've got some appetizers along here as well. We have this taco salad. 
You can have with your choice of meats. We also have a Frito pie. It's one of uh, Texas favors. A little chili or ground beef with it and uh, onion, cilantro, and sour cream and cheese. And here, it's one of my all-time favorites. It's just a pasta soup. It's a Tex-Mex soup with little seashells, ground beef, and peppers, and onions, and garlic. And That's really good. Mm -hmm. Yum. Yeah, and good for winter, too. That seems like just a hearty, yeah. hearty dish to have. We want to have a special where... We can have a two taco and, a, and, and an eight ounce cup of soup or something to go along with it, and we've been pushing that. Uh, there's a there's a lot of things that we're trying to trying to work out, but I mean. So you've got a lot of things on the menu. You've got obviously the Tex-Mex, but the American Grill part of this too. So you're really trying to get everyone involved with this. We got, uh, yes. I, I mean, I put them on my board as specials. And as soon as I put them on my board, we, we're busy and they, we sell out. We got barbecue brisket sandwiches. We have barbecue pork belly sandwiches. Uh, I have uh, this one sandwich I call, I call it Tex-Mex grilled cheese sandwich. It's got, uh, it's also on Texas toast with lots of cheddar cheese. It's like a grill and then you got refried beans on it. And since there's, there's a lot of Germans in Texas, big old thick slice of fried German bologna oh into it. God. You get home cut fries with it and, and some, some baked beans. And this is all on your restaurant week menu, right? This is all on a restaurant week and we have a dessert. Well. Ooh, this is fantastic. It's so good. So good. So you're you're a first time participant in Restaurant Week. What made you want to participate this year? You know, people have been asking me to do stuff like this and I was like I was kind of skeptical about it and I'm still a little scared, but I think it's going to work. It's it's going to work out. Yeah. You know, it, it and also, you know, we're in the food court, but uh uh I've been I've been Everybody's around here has been saying, "Yeah, go for it. You can do it. You, you know, you got excellent food." Of all my, all the vendors here come and eat at, at our place, and they promote, they help promote my my food. So, well, that's and that's what Restaurant Week is all about: trying new places that people haven't maybe heard of yet, and to you know, come come visit you here at Global Market. Very fun to have Andy Bailing with us there from Madison Magazine helping us taste all that yummy goodness, guys. So my favorites from here were that Tex-Mex pasta, fantastic. And then the birria taco, which is what they're also known for. You didn't see us actually taste that on TV. We tried that afterwards, but those were my two favorites. But all of that was incredible. If you'd like to learn more about A-Rod's Tex-Mex and American Grill, you can go to this story up on the Channel 3000 mobile app. Again, Winter Restaurant Week runs through Friday. I really like what you said earlier, Josh, about how all these restaurant owners, they're our friends, they're our neighbors, they're trying to get back up on their feet after COVID, and this Winter Restaurant Week really hits at a crucial time for us to support them, right? Yeah, it certainly does. I mean, you saw him out of himself. He gets a little emotional when he talks about this because he lost his previous job uh, due to the pandemic. He's worked at many restaurants across Madison, but he lost his job due to COVID. Now he put his entire life into this, he and his wife. And of course, they want it to be a success, but it is scary. This is something that, you know, it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of community support. But overall, he's been very, very pleased with how people have been so grateful for him to be up and running. So keep that in mind this week as you're out and about trying to try in these uh, local places they live for this this is what they're there for you can tell he's a little nervous so our support i'm sure would mean the world to him josh Breider, thank you very much remember to let josh know what inspires you in the 608 reach out on social media he'd love to hear from you you can email him too it's in the 608 at wictv.com hey in honor of restaurant week you have a pair uh, vouchers that you could win to enjoy some of that great food. Yeah, they're worth 25 bucks, which will pay for most of these meals. All you have to do is visit channel3000.com slash contests and answer the question of the day. Today it is, what is your favorite style of potato? We're getting you geared up for these meals. So what is it? Is it baked potato? Is it hash brown? We want to hear from you. Just answer your uh, question, answer this question in the code word bar on our website for a chance to win those two Restaurant Week vouchers. I'm getting some flack from Leah this morning for saying that tater tots <laughs> were my go-to potato. I don't know. Chris Reese's favorite yeah. food, or Chris Stanford's favorite food, uh, I said, are the little chicken nuggets that <laughs> are shaped like dinosaurs. Although we do make a lot of those at our house. The kiddos love them. Yeah, that's fair. You have kids. I can't blame you. Uh, tater tots, you can just dip them in something, pop them in your <laughs> mouth. Good to go. Chris Reese likes them too. Chris. Yeah. I do like tater tots. I really do. 
I've also never had like a Minnesota tater tot hot dish. Oh, the hot oh, dish, yeah. You know, it's something oh, yeah. I've learned about since living up here and I just see like this talked about on social media and I want one. Well, hey, today is the day to be making it, Chris, because it is freezing outside. You're not heading outside at all. No, not at all, other than to the car and to the house, maybe the store later. We're at negative seven right now and I'm thankful to say the wind is not blowing out there because where the wind is blowing, things are completely different in terms of temperature. Wind chills, though, are going to be cold, not just today, but by tomorrow as well. These are some of those wind chills by tomorrow morning that will likely be right around 30 degrees below zero, if not just a little bit colder. That's been the trend on future track to be just a little bit colder then things will start to improve for us. But this is how long it takes for you to get frostbite with the wind chills. This is this afternoon. Uh, frostbite times will be up around half an hour, but by tomorrow, especially as kids are headed out to the bus stop, that frostbite time could be in the 5, 10, or 15 minute range. So this is the reason that school systems are going to be watching this very closely as we go through the coming days. They really want to pay attention uh, to the temperatures and the wind chills out there. Yeah, certainly dangerously cold. Chris Reese, thanks for helping us to stay safe. Just about 6.50 on your Tuesday. Coming up in the morning sprint, the Vice President's Day in Milwaukee, and officers in court for the murder of George Floyd. If you've got a little kid turning three soon, let us know so we can show their picture on TV and help them celebrate. We'll be right back. Look Who's Three is sponsored by Three Bears Resort, indoor water park and conference center in Warrens, Wisconsin. Pick and Save Delivery is always fresh because we check our produce at every stop on its journey to you. We're fresh every day, so shop any way. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. Madison Magazine Winter Restaurant Week is here. Participating restaurants will provide a three-course dinner starting at $25, featuring wine and more. Dining with a choice. Don't miss Madison Magazine's Winter Restaurant Week 2022, starting January 23rd through the 28th. For participating restaurants, menus, and details, visit madisonrestaurantweek.com. Presenting sponsor, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund. Supporting sponsor, E&J Gallo Winery. New year, new shape. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I just put this dress on that I haven't worn in over 10 years. New confidence. I can see a huge difference. Look at this. New you. I can wear a little black dress. I feel sexy. You deserve to do something for yourself this year. And with Sono Bello, you can remove stubborn body fat permanently in just one visit. Schedule your free, no obligation consultation with Sono Bello, America's number one cosmetic surgery specialist, and find out how you can get $250 off with our New Year exclusive offer. Sono Bello uses TriSculpt Micro Laser Liposuction to remove your diet resistant fat cells permanently for incredible transformations in just one visit. I have one big regret. I didn't go sooner. Call 1 888 622 8360 or go to sonobello.com. The Washington Swamp. Ron Johnson's up to his neck in it. It's no surprise Johnson broke his promise to only serve two Senate terms as his net worth doubled in office. Johnson pushed for a new tax loophole for the wealthiest Americans, personally benefited from the tax break, and two of his biggest owners pocketed millions. Ron Johnson's deep in the swamp, out for himself, not us. SMP is responsible for the content of this ad. After 30 years of making quality furniture affordable and with tons of in-stock items, I'm asking more Bobs to help, like this Bob, Rob Schneider. This cottage chic sectional will beautify any home. Say you live in a bunker. Huh? It comes in many versatile setups. Say your house is haunted. A layer of Bobopedic memory foam provides added comfort. Say you're raised by wolves. With Bob's discount, you don't have to hunt for a good price. Okay, my parents are paying. Hey, hi guys. Shop what's in stock, in store, or at mybobs.com. Pick and Save, you can get personalized coupons on top of weekly sales for prices that are lower than low on food that's fresher than fresh. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. Keep an eye on your eyes. SSM Health, Davis Dewar Dean. 
653 time for the morning sprint. Not one, but two alert days in store for the dangerous cold. Let's start with Chris Reese's certified most accurate forecast. That's right. Alert days today and tomorrow for those wind chills are going to be quite chilly, perhaps as much as 20 to 30 degrees below zero with air temperatures tomorrow approaching 20 below zero in the morning. It's seven below right now. Not a ton of wind. We're going to warm things up to about five degrees later on this afternoon. We'll talk more about those frostbite times coming up at the end of the sprint. An update here. Four people have now been charged in connection with the deadly shooting in Milwaukee after a body was found in a vehicle in Cambridge a week ago. Investigators say the shooting happened January 17th. Charges range from first degree intentional homicide to hiding a corpse and harboring a felon. State officials are reminding everyone they can get a free ID for voting at the DMV. If you need one, you'll be asked to provide proof of name and uh, birthday, identity, proof of Wisconsin residency, and your social security number. The next election on the calendar is the spring primary that's going to be held on Tuesday, February 15th. Vice President Kamala Harris spending the afternoon in Milwaukee yesterday. She and EPA Administrator Michael Reagan met with workers who've been tasked with removing and replacing lead pipe. Uh, Harris uh, used it as an opportunity to tout the president's infrastructure bill. In the final stop of her tour, the vice president met with health care providers who work with parents in the community to try and identify children who are suffering from lead poisoning. A scary crash on the interstate in DeForest, a semi-truck crashing into the median with its trailer dangling into both directions of traffic. Two northbound lanes and one southbound lane were closed for more than three hours while it happened. No injuries were reported. The federal trial of three former Minneapolis police officers charged in George Floyd's death is now underway. Two town, Thomas Lane and Jay Alexander Kang, are accused of violating Floyd's civil rights. Derek Chauvin pleaded guilty in his federal case last month and was already convicted of murdering Floyd in state court last year. Since it's a federal case, cameras are not allowed inside. The CEO of Pfizer says the COVID-19 vaccine could eventually become a yearly shot. In an interview with an Israeli news outlet, he says he wants people to get a yearly COVID-19 vaccine like the flu instead of having them getting a booster every several months. He says it would be easier to convince people to get vaccinated that way. Right now, Pfizer is looking to create a vaccine that protects against Omicron and some of the other variants. In Michigan this morning, students at Oxford High School will return for the first time uh, since the school shooting there in November. They were back at school yesterday. The shooting left four students dead. A former student and his parents have been arrested in connection. The makeshift memorial that was outside the building is now gone, but a permanent one is expected to be reinstalled in the community. Frostbite times as we go throughout the rest of this afternoon are going to be hanging out right around half an hour, but by tomorrow morning, some of those frostbite times could range from about 5 to 15 minutes. So really watch the temperatures and the wind chills as you head out the door tomorrow. A lot of those wind chills this morning are going to be into the teens to 20s below zero, but tomorrow morning could be a lot colder. We'll continue to break this down every half hour between now and nine. Chris Reese, thank you very much. Stay with us, folks. We'll be back in just about half an hour.